Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel once again. I'm here with my wife. Hello. And Mr. Liam. Of course. All right. Well, we have made it to week three. Week three. Oh boy! I mean, if you're new here, what we're talking about here is the challenge of vegetarian, vegan, and gluten-free. For the month of March. All combined together. Yes. If you're just seeing this for the first time, well, you can, it's never too late. You can say, you know what, I'm gonna start now or I'll start next month, all right? What we're going to do right now is run you through how our entire week has been going, what we've been eating, what that we can give you some meal ideas for yourself, all right? Yeah, you guys seem to like that one uh, Ronald posted last week, so we yeah. thought we would do that again. Uh, multiple recipes in one. That way it's kind of one-stop shop, you know. Exactly. So we're going to do a whole bunch of recipes in this one as well, all meal ideas so that you can actually be able be able to uh, do something for yourself. Alright? Without further ado, let's get rolling. First and foremost, we had this was amazing. So we're having some porridge right now and uh, a simple corn porridge. You can do oatmeal, you can do any other you prefer, but and also we have we put in a bit of uh, almond milk in here which makes it absolutely vegan and also vegetarian as well as gluten free. And then we had another food idea here. We have our peanut uh, with potato biscuit cooked together. Again, this is another simple meal idea and there you have it now this was one of my favorites all right my beautiful wife just made us a meal right here this is another food idea right here um babe why don't you tell us what you made at the base we have brown rice seasoned and cooked like regular on top of that i made <laughs> sorry liam i'm sorry what you... yeah that's what he said i then placed mushrooms, garlic, and onions in a saucepan. I, the, after that softened and cooked for a little bit, I blended that with the marinade that we left from the tofu the other day. So that made sort of that sauce that you see. I, I put, in the meantime, the yellow sweet bell peppers in back in the pan and I had that kind of cook a bit. Once the sauce was blended though, I added that back into the sauce and with the carrot. And then just for toppings and some like fresh crunch, um, we have cucumbers and tomatoes and some fresh basil. One of our quick meals was... Today we're having a salad and here we have some um, uh, shredded carrots, we have some um, uh, craisings, uh, we have some uh, almonds, some apples in there. And of course, we also have lettuce in here. And for the dressings, anything you really prefer, but I'll be having a balsamic with it myself. And that's another meal idea. Would you go without this? Okay, so here's another meal idea. Today, to be honest, we didn't even know what we wanted to make, uh, but I realized we have some leftover tofu, uh, we had some leftover beans, put in some tomato sauce and uh, just mix it together and I also we had some rice so I just put all that together basically stuffed them into the paper which is basically your uh, vegan, uh, vegetarian and gluten free uh, stuffed peppers. There you have it. It's ready and that's our dinner. We then enjoyed uh, today for lunch, I am having uh, basically a slur, maybe a coleslaw, as you may say, but it's not with uh, anything creamy in terms of dressing. Uh, cabbage and there's carrots in there, and I put some more of sliced summer uh, apples on the side here as well, uh, together, and uh, with a simple uh, vinaigrette. I made my own, a bit of oil, olive oil in there. Uh, I put also some. Um, rice vinegar, I put some lemon, I put uh, a little bit of uh, salt and black pepper and Italian and just made it just fine for me. All right, and there is another example of a nice meal for you. One evening I felt really motivated and I went to Google my standby 
and what you see here is the result of that. Today we are having a red lentil loaf. In this we have gluten-free rolled oats, then we have red lentils of course, um, mushrooms, onions, various seasonings, and also carrots as well. Um, as usual, I found the recipe online and then I added some things that I wanted to add into it to add more flavor. Uh, and as you can see on top, I put uh, some dried cranberries, which I just placed before I put it in the oven. Then to go along with, we're having brown rice, which is seasoned and cooked the regular way, and then uh, steamed broccoli. This is our dinner for today, this Thursday. And for the word of the day today, Liam, what's the word of the day? Saliva. Because you know babies are always like, he's like all the time like, he's full of saliva. So how do you call saliva, Liam, how do you call saliva in Luganda? Amalusu. Liam, can you say Amalusu? <laughs> of course he can. Babe, can you say Amalusu? Amalusu. Yes. Amalusu. Yeah. As usual, want to thank you guys for uh, showing up, uh, for following us, and uh, for basically being part of our YouTube channel. We hope you are entertained and you are educated one or another. And of course, as usual, make sure you like, share, subscribe, and of course, give us the thumbs up as usual. And of course, check out the other videos that are attached to this because just so you know, we made a playlist for this. It is basically a vegetarian, vegan, gluten-free. If you want to tell your friend about it, tell them which playlist to go to so they can see each and every video step by step. Don't mind Liam, he's just fascinated by the light lately. Of course, he's just curious in general. Bye. <laughs> And say bye. <laughs> bye, guys. Bye. See you next time.